Welcome back. I realized in a recent video I did on speeding up your JUnit tests using one line in Gradle, I actually missed an interesting feature, which is really easy to fix. And it had to do with the code assist for my Gradle build file in Groovy inside IntelliJ. And it's a thing that can fix in one step. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here was the project I was using to illustrate how to do parallel tests in Gradle. So it was a basic Java project with only a JUnit Jupyter dependency. And I have in this block down here the indication that I'm using JUnit 5. On the task named test, assuming there is one, invoke the JUnit use JUnit platform method and set the max parallel forks property. Now I did this in the Groovy DSL and I also did it in the Kotlin DSL. Now if you look at this, it immediately looks like IntelliJ understands the Kotlin DSL a lot better. It looks like, wow, this is nicely nice syntax highlighting and code assist and everything. And the best part is, is if you look inside this block with task.named test of type test, then we can actually get code assist on the method. Use JUnit platform as part of the test task, and we have information here, as well as on max parallel forks. It says actually that's invoking a method called set max parallel forks, which takes an integer, etc. And yet, if you look in the Groovy DSL, you don't see any of that. In fact, over here, it says no candidates found for use JUnit platform and max parallel forks, it goes, I have no idea what that method call max parallel forks is. And you'd be forgiven of thinking, well, okay, IntelliJ comes from JetBrains, JetBrains manages Kotlin, no darn wonder it understands Kotlin better. But it's not that complicated. Over here in the Kotlin one, we have the reified type specified in the generic portion. If you look at the documentation for the named method, it takes a reified type that's a descendant of the task interface. And yes, in fact, we've told it, this is a task of type test. So no darn wonder it recognizes the method, which is from the test task, and max parallel forks, which is also from the test task. So how can we fix that in the groovy one? Well, in the groovy one, I'm not specifying the type anywhere. It turns out there's an overload of the named method that takes not just a string and an action, the closure being the action, but a string, comma, class, and an action. And look at that. Now that it knows we're talking about a test task, it knows what JUnit platform is. It knows what the max parallel fork system is. All I have to do now is synchronize my build and everything works like before. So all you have to do when you use the lazy configuration mechanism named is use the version of named that not only takes the string name of the task, but also lets you specify the class and say, hey, this is, for example, a task of type test. And you get all your code assist back. It's a very simple fix. I can't believe I didn't think of it much earlier, but maybe now you won't have to deal with it. So hopefully that helps you. Good luck. Let me know if you like this. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.